Hello, everyone, and welcome to this episode of Parenting Behind the Behavior. My name is Patty Carroll, and thanks for joining me today. So I'm gonna, today we're going to examine this idea of changing the way we look at the world around us. Or in other words, perspective taking. Perspective taking requires us to put ourselves in another person's position and imagine what it must feel like or, or what we would do or think if we were in that situation. Perspective taking helps children to be more successful as adults because they're better able to deal with other people. Seeing and understanding the world from someone else's point of view is an important life skill you can help teach your child. And guess what? It helps them build healthy and satisfying relationships. Children with better perspective taking skills are less likely to be involved in conflicts with other children. It also helps them to know how to behave in social situations. It helps them care for other people and to communicate effectively. It helps them solve problems and it even helps them work together with others. Understanding what others are thinking also helps children to feel more comfortable in new situations. So I encourage you to take time to listen to your child. And when you listen and care about their thoughts and their feelings, you demonstrate how to care about another person's point of view. Over time, children learn how to care about other people's points of view because they have actually felt it for themselves through you. So here are three things you can do to help build perspective taking skills for your children. So number one, model. Model how to look for and listen to another person's perspective. So for example, when your child is telling you a story or telling you something, you affirm what they're saying by saying something like, it sounds like you were super frustrated. That's helping to model how to look for another person's perspective. Number two, explain your own views and talk about your own thoughts and your own feelings. So for example, mom was so bummed out. Mom was so sad when we couldn't see grandma for Mother's Day. And number three, Talk with your children about the possible feelings and thoughts of someone else. So for example, ask your child, say, hey, how do you think grandma must have felt when we couldn't go there for Mother's Day? There are three easy, simple ways that you can help build perspective taking skills with your children. And I hope you give it a try. Thanks for joining me um, in this episode of Parenting Behind the Behavior. And I look forward to seeing you again real soon. Take care.